Some Like It Hot. Yes, it's a movie title, but it's also a challenge laid down by chili fanatics to get their mates to try just one more of those incendiary little mouth bombs. Now, it's hot weather, perfect time to plant out seeds of both chilies and capsicums. Hot chilies and cool, sweet capsicums are essentially the same plant. Botanically, they're called capsicum annum. In warm winter areas, both can survive the cool season to be perennials, with a life of a couple of years or more. Why would you grow them at home? Well, fresh capsicums have got so much crunch and flavour, they're fabulous in salads and in cooking, and chilies are so productive that one plant can actually feed a whole family for a year. Now, the best time to sow your chilies is in spring or summer. I'm just going to prepare a little rill there. These need to go in around about a centimetre deep. It's important to get them in after the danger of frost has passed, and you can actually start them very early if you've got a heat pad. Mr Fothergill's super hot chilies also need hotter conditions for germination, ideally 22 to 26 degrees. And this is where a heat pad is just the answer. That'll evenly heat them right through the germination period. So sow your seeds. These little peat pots are ideal because once the plants have germinated and they're off and away, you can plant the whole thing out, pot and all, into the garden. Choosing chilies is all about how much heat you can handle. This is Carolina Reaper, the hottest chili in the world. I tell you what, I break into a sweat just looking at this one. At the other end of the scale is this fella, Big Jim. Now it's almost as sweet as a capsicum, but it's got that little bite. And then of course there's everything in between. Get your capsicum and chili garden off to a start this weekend for flavour delights, hot or cool, this summer.